Well, Brian Hayward is in his 25th season with the Ducks and is the original television analyst. Over his career, Brian has established himself as one of the best in the business. Our digital reporter Taylor Felix had a chance to speak with him at the recent Faceoff Fest. Talk to me about the transition from the ice to the broadcast booth. You know, um, I, I think for goaltenders in particular, it's kind of like baseball catchers. It's kind of a natural transition because you see the whole game in front of you. And, uh, and I think there's a defense mechanism for all goaltenders too. When you get scored on, you kind of in the back of your mind say, well, yeah, they scored on me, but this guy should have been here and this other player should have done that. And so I, I, I think it's a natural thing for goaltenders to become analysts. So it, I don't think the transition was difficult at all. Based on everything you just said, would you say goalies are the smartest players out on the ice? Well, there's no question about that. Now, uh, forwards, defensemen will beg to differ, but it gets back to who is the smartest. So you don't have to take what they say and think that they're credible because they're really not. What's been the biggest moment for you in your broadcast career so far? Oh boy, well, um, you know, I always tell the story about when the Ducks won the Stanley Cup. I was actually broadcasting that game for the National Hockey League on their international broadcast. And I was able to be down on the Ducks bench because my role at the end of the game was to get some of the European players from the winning team and interview them. Of course, the Ducks had Tamer Solani. So I was down on the bench and I was uh, waiting for the game to end and the celebration to start. And all of the Ducks, because they were well ahead in that game, had brought their families down to the bench. So I was there with the mothers and the fathers and the wives and the kids, the benches going crazy. And uh, probably one of the greatest memories I'll have was to see the reaction, because I had my eyes on Tamu Solani. I wanted to get the interview with him as quickly as I can. But to see the reaction between him and his dad uh, was something I'll never forget. And then to be able to interview him immediately afterward was pretty powerful. So incredibly special. Lastly, just talk to us about the joy of being able to call Anaheim Ducks game. Well, it's fun. I, I mean, when you're a, a local broadcaster, you're, you're tied to the team. Um, I like to say we're slightly biased. We want our, our home team to win. And I, I feel very privileged, you know, to do the job that I do. It's fun. Uh, it keeps you in the game as a former player. And it's challenging too. And, and so you, you go from being part of a team on the ice to now a team that produces a show and tries to put the best product out there.